Morning, Gene. Morning, Gene. Weather comment, huh? Ooh, weather comment repetition and agreement. Hey, Gene, do you know what time it is? It's 9 a.m., Gene. No, it's not, Gene. I mean, well, yeah, it is. But do you know what else? Is it tea time in London, It's right? business time. It's business time. It's business time. What's that you're eating there, Gene? Well, Gene, these are pine nuts, these are sunflower seeds, and these are blueberries. Doctors call them brain food. Or at least some articles and blogs I read on the internet do, which are supposedly written by real-life human doctors. Apparently, they're supposed to improve brain power. I've been on a real brain kick lately. It's, um, kind of crazy. The internet, by the way, there's a lot going on there. I feel like we underestimate it, or maybe we estimate it just right. I don't know. Not really feeling anything yet, though. That's crazy. Let me try some of that, Gene. I think I feel something. Really? Yeah. Maybe. I don't know. Crazy. Hey, what's your favorite thing about business, Gene? Ooh, oh, that's a tough question, Gene. I really like organizing. Yeah, like organizing numbers into Excel. Looking at a clearly labeled and organized spreadsheet full of information and statistics and numbers representing earnings and operating costs and profit margins. It actually physically turns me on, if I'm really going to be honest with you. I would hope you would always be honest with me, Gene. You can be certain of that, Gene. Because I pride myself on always being honest and forthright with you in both business and conversation. Thank you, Gene. Thank you, Gene. I also really like having meetings. One-on-one <laughs> -on -one meetings, client meetings, but especially group meetings. Like when we have our end-of-the-month earnings reports, and there's the procedure, the procedure and the format that have to be followed. Following procedure correctly and methodically is something that also turns me on, if I'm really going to be honest with you. I appreciate your honesty, Gene. Thank you, Gene. Thank you, Gene. What's your favorite thing about business, Gene? <laughs> oh, my. That's a tough question. I really love wearing a suit. I feel like you're inside my brain right now and it doesn't bother me one tiny baby bit. Mm. I also love wearing a suit. I'd venture a guess that Will's pure Italian Merino, am I wrong? And if I may say, before you say anything right now, you look extraordinary. You look like the human version of the word extraordinary. Thank you, my friend. You are a true gentleman of business. If all the world's finest jewels, masterpieces of art, literature, and music were taken and somehow melted down into a mold that in some way attempted to roughly imitate your ideal likeness, it would only pale in comparison to your blinding, enviable beauty, and its worth would be that of a piece of poop. Even given that this hypothetical statue of you that I'm imagining for the sake of comparison was made in some sort of mold from the combined contents of the world's greatest jewels, great works of art, literature, and music. Oh, and yes, it's 100%. Giuseppe Risotto. Can I touch it? Would that be appropriate? I hope I'm not crossing any sort of boundary you may have set for the workplace. Hush now. By all means. Oh my god. Like a baby. Like a little fuzzy baby lamb that knows nothing but its mother's love and the warmth of the sun. I know. I love it. It actually turns me on, if I'm being honest with you. Yeah, I'd hope you'd always be honest with me, Gene. You can be certain of that, Gene. God damn it! I respect you, Gene. And I respect you, Gene. And again, if I'm crossing any sort of boundaries in regards to your privacy in the workplace, just tell me, hush, child. No child. Hush not, child! I also really like saying things like derivative bundle and addendum. I always love saying ad hoc. Activity-based costing. Aggressive growth fund. Pro rata. Pro viso. Promotion. Promotion. Socioeconomic grouping. Solvency margin. Orphan technology! Off the books! Off the charts! Off the grid! Off the peg! Off the peg? What's off the peg? Well, that's the term for when retail merchandise, often clothing, is made in standard stock sizes and designs rather than made to measure individually. Oh, off the rack. Off the rack! <sighs> you know, I'm feeling rather turned on right now. As am I.
I really think I'm feeling something from these. Hey guys, I was just coming by to say I love you. Oh, and weather comment, huh? Oh, oh yeah. yeah, weather, weather comment. comment. <laughs>